Hey, how's it going, Chris? Hey, Jay. How are you, sir? Good. Uh, are you able to share the screen or you want me to run the your slides? Um, I can share it, but I don't think there were slides. It was just plans, right? Yeah, yeah. it was just the plans plus like the report. I can share it and I'll just skim through it. Okay, sounds good. Uh, so what was the requirement? Why did this need to get looked at by uh, BPAC? Uh, BCDC, one of their requests is to make sure that we ran it by the Viking Tech Committee. Okay. I like that actually. So you have like your 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 citizen advisory kind of things to yeah. lend lend some opinions. Yeah. I definitely. I mean, I definitely think that BPAC is uh, more reasonable than BCDC when it comes to this stuff, though. Right. Yeah. <laughs> for the world, like BCDC is asking for way too many things. Yeah. No, I hear you.
Hey, Chris. Hi, right, Jen. Oh, I like your minimalist Christmas tree. Thing. <laughs> Oh, it's like so low effort. I'm gonna do more. I just that's like no, uh, with the, uh, the long no. day trying to do something. Put put a star on top of that thing and call it done. And, and I'm done, like, right? Well, I live I live across the street from a Walgreens, so uh, I randomly bought like one string <laughs> of Christmas stuff. Um, and there it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I dig it. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm all right. Just a uh... Yeah, you know, post Thanksgiving week, it's like, are you on like half brain power this week? You know, yeah. like, <laughs> to the, you know, like, I, it's, it's just that. Yeah, there's but a lot there's, going on. Yeah, yeah, there is. There's the other part. So it's like, nope, I got to pay attention. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's supposed to get quieter, like, as you get closer to the holidays, but we're just, we're slammed. Yeah. Everybody wants to try to get their, you know, thing in. It's like, oh, can you review this? Oh, can you do this? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, that's all right. We'll manage. Yeah. So uh, next week will be a little bit interesting. So I um, for parking place. Actually, it'll be interesting this week for that one. Um, talk to Dave about doing the free parking in the downtown and mm -hmm. for the holidays. And I don't. I'll have to look at what we did as a city last year i think that i think from what i copied the, the the last staff report to do the outdoor dining stuff was um that i think it was just a garage which okay. it's, it makes sense but we really like i'll have to communicate to like everybody that providing free parking in the downtown during the holidays is actually counterintuitive because it just Hey, if it was me yeah. and I didn't have like, you know, like I don't have to pay for parking, I'm going to park there the entire day. So there will be actually less turnover. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the garage at best, you know, because there is no way to enforce, you know, like um, the time limits for people, especially when the meter is all we have to kind mm -hmm. of like, you know, uh, figure out how long people have been there. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could see, and I'm not telling this to anyone, but I could see council really advocating for it to have free parking as mm -hmm. a way of alleviating people spending money on parking during a pandemic, you know, make sure that people want to come downtown and, and shop without having to worry about pay for parking. But it's counterintuitive because you're right, people will just park all day. Exactly, yeah. So uh, yeah. I mean, I'll I'll ring it up the flagpole and see what we get. But if the because it's a parking place commission that has to act on that, similar to what we did oh, for the okay. parking meter revenue, so they need to basically we'll have a staff report for this coming one. Yeah. So that that was my uh, discussion with Dave Bockhaus. Oh yeah, there's so much construction down there that the contractors would all take up the parking all day. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's right. Point. That is a good point. Ah, Jay, you you gave me the answer. I was coming in with right. a hot take. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. <laughs> we can't do it because otherwise, the thing that Commissioner Monzon is railing about is uh, just going to exacerbate that problem. All right. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, that's right. Okay. That's her. That's her. Oh, that's our story. Too many, too many windows open here. It's driving me crazy. Yeah. So. Let's see, we have a waiting room, waiting room. Uh, 558. Yeah, 558, where is everybody? Jeez. I was uh, rushing to like chop a bunch of vegetables to have them ready to cook dinner as soon as we're done. Yeah, we should be quick. I mean, uh, just have some updates. There was an, uh, some, uh, after Jason's um, item, we'll, um, I'll address the kind of co comment that chairperson gore brought up uh, last week about like you know no availability of like maneuvering room for bikes on linden and, right and uh dave and i kind of talked that out it's like well there's sharrows on the street so bicyclists should are allowed to take take advantage of the full lane mm -hmm. so there, there shouldn't be any kind of like hesitation to do that because 
it's it's a shadow. Yeah. So and plus, uh, I think construction is going to wrap up there in the next like few weeks. That's the oh, third okay. day, which is which is good. So. Um, I think we have people in the waiting room. I'm just oh. going to grab a pen. I'll be right back. Yeah. All right. Let me admit them all. Let's get the show on the road. Good evening, all. How are y'all? Hey, Megan. Fine, are you, Chris? Good, good. How was, uh, how was the holidays? Thanksgiving. We were good. We yeah. ate outdoors like the pilgrims, so we were in a great <laughs> spirit of the holiday. Yeah. Um, how was everyone else's holiday? Good. Good. Small, which I like. <laughs> yeah. We did not have a turkey. Instead, my husband smoked some ribs. And that was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Yeah. It was a great, it was a wonderful day outside to mm -hmm. be out. Your baby is so cute, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. She loves looking at the computer screen, I think because it's bright. But. <laughs> Hopefully she'll fall asleep through, through some of this. <laughs> okay. Are we, do we have a quorum? Because we can start. Uh, we have four of you. I think we can start with four. Okay. Well, if we could... Yep, Do yep. Okay. Who are we missing? We are missing Vice Chair Amir. Thagavis, yeah, uh, 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 Committee Member know? Ching, and Committee Member Bowen. And um, last week, uh, Vice Chair Thagavis did let me know that he wasn't going to make it, but I didn't see any notice from, he let me know last month but i didn't see anything from him about today so i'm not sure if he'll be joining or not okay well um let's get started um tommy usually comes in but hopefully um, he won't miss much um i think he i think vice chair thagavis is logging on so let's, oh, great. okay yeah, and then let's get started hello hi hi hello, hi how are you, Mayor? So I'd like to call the meeting to order for um, the Wednesday, December 2nd, 2020 meeting of the Bicycle and Pedestrian Advisory Committee. May we have a roll call, please? Yes. Chairperson Gore. Present. Vice Chair Thagavis. Present. Committee Member McCauley. Present. Committee Member Anderson. Present. Uh, committee member Woodridge. Present. And committee members Chang and Bowen are absent. Thank you. Okay. Um, did everyone have a chance to look at their agenda? And are there any questions about the agenda? Okay, if not, we'll go to oral communications. Is it, do we have any public participation today? No, we don't have anybody here from the public to participate and we've not received any uh, calls or emails. Great. Then the next item on the agenda is approval of the minutes from last meeting, November 4, 2020. Are there, may I have a motion? I would make the motion that we approve the minutes of the last meeting. Is there a second or a comment about the, the, the minutes? I second the notion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, any opposed or abstentions? Great. So the next item of business is the administrative business. Um, the first item in that is the South Airport Boulevard and Bell Air Road public 
Access Improvement Project. Great, thank you, uh, Chair Gore. Uh, let me stop sharing my screen and uh, give the floor to our colleague from engineering, Jason Hilari. Go ahead, sir. Good evening, Chair, Vice Chair, and committee members. I'm Jason Hale, Senior Engineer with the Engineering Division, <clears throat> presenting you with another project um, similar to my North Access Road project. This one is on South Airport Boulevard and Bel Air Road. Um, I had attached the plans to the agenda, but uh, I'm just going to run through um, some sheets that kind of highlight what the project's going to do. Uh, the general location here is around around Costco. Um, and the point of the project is to pretty much improve the public access for pedestrians and bicyclists to get to the Bay Trail. Uh, so here's a <clears throat> here's an, uh, plan view. It's actually two segments of South Airport Boulevard. Um, so this portion on the right lines up with this portion on the left on the lower one. But starting from Utah, uh, we're going to be adding some signage and improving the crosswalks to be high visible, high visibility crosswalks with new curb ramps. We're also going to be adding a, a flashing beacon at Marco Way, which is an uncontrolled intersection. Um, and then further south, we're going to be adding high visibility crossing at Beacon Street with new curb ramps. And the big interse intersection for this job is Bel Air and South Airport Boulevard. We're going to be adding a bike box for bicyclists to make a left turn to get onto the road by Costco, where there are um, bike lanes that lead to the Bay Trail Bridge. We're also getting rid of the left turn U-turn lane here. Uh, I mean, I, personally, I've seen a lot of vehicles do a three-point turn just to make this U-turn, but also it, it'll conflict with the bike lane that we just installed on South Airport Boulevard. Um, and then further south, another crosswalk on the south end of Beacon Street Beacon Street. And then here's another view of Bel Air Road. <clears throat> We're going to be painting those bike lanes by Costco all full green leading up to the Bay Trail. Uh, we're going to also add a little ramp down here so cyclists don't have to go through the driveway and drive, uh, ride through the parking lot. They can use the shared access trail um, as it was intended between the Costco parking lot and the uh, BCDC parking lot. And the last piece is another high vis crossing where we ended with the uh, North Access Road bikeway. Um, that wasn't upgraded uh, fully, so we're going to catch that on this project. Uh, that kind of is all of it. I just want to show you another view of our uh, the flashing beacon that we're going to install on Marco Way. Pretty typical, like the ones we have on Grand Avenue and the one on Orange Avenue. Um, another thing is that for all the bike lanes that we install, um, installed, we're going to be replacing the grates with the bike safe grate all along South Airport from Utah to North Access Road, similar to what I did on North Access Road, um, which with um, with our new standard for those bike safe grates. So I really just wanted to present this project to you and see if BCD, uh, BPAC had any you know comments or questions about it. And I'll open the floor to you. Are there any questions? Or do the members have any questions? Well, this is Christina Anderson, and I just wanted to say hooray for getting rid of that U-turn in front of Costco because it was way too crazy. <laughs> I've had to make a three-point turn there before. <laughs> yeah, I would buy this from McCall. I agree. It's really scary there, especially coming out of Beacon. When you're coming out of Beacon, that place can get a little scary. When, Especially I've had an encounter it there like where, where Beacon and Airport meet and there's like pedestrians and bicyclists and there's like a bus stop nearby, it's hectic. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Frank, did you have a comment? Uh, well, I did. I was going to second that emotion about removing that uh, left turn pocket. Uh, terrible. But also coming uh, northbound in that um, 
back on a bicycle, coming back Costco has always been dangerous. Um, cars coming up and making that right turn on a green, red, or yellow light, it didn't matter, they don't stop. So I would always risk my life trying to through that intersection on a bicycle. Um, but anyway, that's, is that, that, that'll give the bicyclists more room, I think. And so it might put that the yellow, I mean, the green uh, high marks across, that should help the safety. Uh, can they be continued to cross the intersection, I wonder? Uh, the skip marks do not cross through the intersection. Uh, just yeah, but could they? Uh, yeah, we typically don't go through the intersection, only, yeah. um, but they will go across. Uh, yeah. Like lanes yeah, but at least that will help. Yeah, I, I see that as well. The second thing I would like to say is where, um, let's see, where, where you finished on the North Access Road, uh, you have that was a se separate picture, right? Your second, uh, there you go. As you come up, uh, uh, oh no, no, that wasn't it. There, here we go, sorry. So the, the, the trail actually continues on the other side of um, Airport Boulevard. It was underneath the freeway and comes over to San Bruno Avenue. That's correct. So it does go south down here. Um, and then there's a trail that leads underneath the freeway. Yeah. And sometimes I, I will add that into my regimen too. And I'd like that. I wonder if we could have that crosswalk highlighted on. Could we add that in? Is it within your realm of jurisdiction there? Do I make that a highlighted crosswalk? Yeah. Uh, I'll see. Okay. Um, to, to make this a high visibility crosswalk? Yes. Yeah, it, we, can, it connects me with that because sometimes I will ride that, that other one. It's a short ride over to San Bruno Avenue, but I'm coming back and then I'll go out to around the back of the airport on North Access Road. And so, yeah, it's a bit nasty. Obviously, I don't use, I, I need to use the pedestrian button there and cross in, on the crosswalk. So it's nice having a bit more safety. Something to think about. That's definitely a good point. I'll keep note of it. Uh, the third point, point I'd like to mention is, is it possible that we could, uh, you could copy these in a package to us so that we could review them maybe in more depth later, since we didn't get to review them before the meeting? Certainly, um, I can hand them, hand them to Chris to uh, share with the committee. Uh, that would be great. Thank you. So I have questions about the Bel Air uh, section. Um, so you you expect the bicycle a bicyclist to make a left turn off the South Airport to this street, and it's it is is this the street between Costco, the actual Costco and the gas station? That's correct. The big Costco is on the top of the page, and the gas station is on the bottom of the page. So I don't know if you, but a lot of times that gas station on the right backs up and there's a lot of cars that will be in a line to turn into the gas station on occasion mm -hmm. so we're going to have a protected by the lane i would just say it our divided bike lane for this area i see um well currently there there's no plan for a buffered bikeway um I'm not sure if there's enough space to fit it and the existing lanes. I do know Costco shuts off the first driveway. That way cars will stack within their parking lot. Um, yeah, they yeah, don't. They do it every time, but I, I do know that they do that on, on a regular basis during their peak hours. Right. As a person who's been in the line on the peak hours, I do know that they'll often, uh, there's overflow onto that street. And I'm just concerned about the safety of any bicyclists who might be riding during that time. Uh, it's just thought. And then um, you said there's going to be a bike box on off of airport. Can you describe what that would look like to make the turn? Okay, so the bicyclists will be making a left turn with the, the same signals as the left turn, or will they get off their bike and cross the street? How do you envision this working? Yeah. 
has his mic turned off. Yeah. Oh, so we can't hear you if you're speaking. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so the bicyclists with this bike box, they'll be able to get in front of the vehicles. And now the, the drivers will be aware that there's a cyclist that's going to make the turn with them. Um, the cyclists will be in the front, so they will be able to lead the turning movement. And they can all, they'll stay on the outside because the bike lane is on the outside when they reach it. And then the vehicle behind them there's there's not going to be a crossover because these the vehicle lane doesn't cross where the bicyclist lane is during this movement mm -hmm. uh, so it's pretty typical bike bike boxes are better because you know you get like i said you get the bicyclists in front of the cars so they're aware of them and the cyclist doesn't have to try to you know, sneak into the lane and then maybe even be next to the vi the vehicle before they make the left the left turn uh, this oh. way it just puts them in front And it's going to be a, a big painted green box. It's shown gray here, but it'll be a big green, green box. Everything shaded here will be green. Great. Are there any other questions? I was just going to add that I like the idea of the bike box, um, but given that it's one of the first in our city, I wonder how drivers will respond to it and if there's maybe some way to educate them about what to do. That's a good point. It is the first bike box. Um, a lot of firsts in this area. We had our first buffered bikeway on North Access, and now we'll have our first um, bike box. Um, yeah, maybe I can I can write up something that would be um, published by the public relations officer as a as a notice. Having a sign at that location, instructing what it is, might help too. Yeah, you said the cars will be made aware that there's a bicyclist there, and I'm just wondering how. <laughs> oh, like like I mentioned, it's a it's a giant green box. It's 12 feet wide, so you know it's almost it's more than half a parking stall wide um, of a green patch, and then the cyclist will be able to be in front of the the vehicle instead of before. You know, the vehicle moves up straight to the crosswalk line, and then the cyclist has to pretty much sit next to them. Um, and it's not always likely that the driver will look to the right to see the cyclist or be, or be aware of it. But in this will, case, the cyclist will go in front. Will there be instructions for the driver at the intersection not to stop within the box? Sort of like not stopping within a crosswalk. Um, let me see, number two, there's a stop oh. here sign that's gonna be right. That's pointing. Okay. It's going to be a stop here sign that points at this bar before the green paint. Um, so that that'll be one kind of signage for the for the vehicles to know to stop there. Will it be similar to like some? It, it sounds it sounds like similar to some Folsom Street in San Francisco, like where the cars drive along. And it does, if it is similar to what's on full, it's like really obvious that it's a bike lane. Yes, it's going to be very similar to that. That's all. Okay, uh, are there any other questions or comments? I think this is an improvement um, and definitely in that area, anything it, 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 that helps with uh, pedestrian and bicycle safety is, is, is an amazing improvement. I, I personally appreciate that. So, if there are no comments, thank you very much for coming. And we look forward to seeing, when will this be um, implemented? I'm expecting spring of next year. Um, I'm working with BCDC on this. Um, it, it may depend. Uh, I'm going to look into that crosswalk, at this North Axis Road fork um, that the vice chair had mentioned, um, or that Frank had mentioned. Um, but uh, and that, that would be a, Caltrans permit. So I could only put that in if Caltrans allows that. 
uh, since it's a Caltrans right um, intersection. But I'll look into that. And if that doesn't happen, then I'm expecting springtime for this project. Great. We look forward to seeing it. Um, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Have a nice night. Thanks, thank Jason. You. So it's a short agenda today. Our next is an uh, email from the public. Did we receive any public emails? No, we have not received any emails from the public. Okay, that, that keeps things moving. Uh, <laughs> committee comments? I put something um, I spoke about it before, the temporary fences along construction sites and uh, what I've asked, asked before that we see if we can do something about moving them six feet back onto the property. Uh, this weekend, we had another construction fence down over the sidewalk on South Spruce Avenue, pretty major street, and it's over by the next to see there's a gas station car wash that's been empty for some time now, and that fence has been standing. Well, now it's lying out over this, or was over the weekend, lying over the sidewalk. So I just want to keep that in all our minds and that I hope to get something in the um, in our master plan that puts in some potential, well, puts in a request or a demand that the fencing be put such as so far back that if it falls over, it's not going to be a, a hazard for us pedestrians and pushing us out onto the highway. So I'll bring it up again when, whenever we get that, that master plan from the BCDC, or I'm sorry, our pedestrian master plan. Uh, that's about it. Okay. So next month is um, we vote for new committee, uh, new chair and vice chair, right? Okay, great. Yes, every first of the first meeting of the year. Cool. So, any staff comments? Uh, I just wanted to say, oh, you can go first. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I just wanted to make um, anyone aware that of a. Uh, Pedestrian crossing um, outside of Los Cerritos, between Los Cerritos and the Boys and Girls Club, still just goes off whenever it wants to. <laughs> and uh, oh. it, yeah, I'm just worried that people are going to get so used to it going off all the time, they're just going to run it when someone's actually crossing it. <laughs> I agree. That happens all the time. I'm driving down and I'm like, wait, there's nobody there. Like, <laughs> nobody there for like, out like literally like feet and I'm like where where it's just it, it, it'll become like something that you just don't pay attention to and then a jogger just goes right yeah. off. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> that's all <laughs> okay any other um comments of that nature anything that uh, any com committee member has seen around the um the city that we should probably bring up and maybe take a look at yes it's so like twice now that i've been um i've been jogging a lot down spruce and i had to help somebody that actually fell on canal street like on the little the little bridge it's really tiny for people that have walkers so i saw this person trying to get their walker up on the sidewalk and it's just not enough room and they actually fell and i had to help them up and then another time, just a mom with a stroller had to actually get on Spruce to like walk her, like walk her and her kid down that like narrow, narrow sidewalk on the actual canal. So I'm like wondering like if that's something that we plan on changing because I, I could see that really being like a danger as we become more populated and that street becomes busier. Is that something that we've taken up in the bicycle plan? Uh, Chris, that you know of? Uh, not that I'm aware of, but th that's uh, a lot of the what he, I'm hearing uh, from Vice Chair Thagavis is that th these may not be something that uh, might be problems that we're not aware of. So um, uh, I'll reach out to you uh, specifically and if I could get more information on where this is. Uh, just wanted to make sure we communicate this to our traffic advisory uh, committee. It's an internal interdepartmental staff of uh, public works, engineering, planning that look at these types of issues. And if there's like the, the, the pedestrian crossing, for example, if it's a malfunctioning equipment, that's something that we could definitely uh, take care of right away. But if there is something of this nature where we have a pedestrian access that is just too narrow and then we need to definitely correct it and so that's something we'll 
uh, we'll put on the list of things that the city needs to do. But as far as the specifically in the bike and pet plan, I don't believe we have this location uh, marked. If anything, I think we have it as an opportunity area for improvements. But the bike and ped plan doesn't, you know. Well, maybe I can speak with the mirror and get more information. That might yeah, be something you want to pull up. Yeah. And make a priority. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other committee comments? One more. Okay. <laughs> My neighbor just became wheelchair bound the other day and he asked me if we have ADA ramps at all in Mayfair Village. Apparently there aren't any way for there's no way for someone in a wheelchair to go off the into the street <laughs> just putting that out there <laughs> thank you christina <laughs> thank you all right if there are no more comments then we move to staff comments yeah. uh yes thanks uh thank you chair gore just i uh, wanted to respond to something that uh, you brought up last week about uh, construction on linden Yes. and how there was a very limited kind of uh, access for bikes on the roadway due to the construction. So uh, for what we know is that Linden is, has uh, the, their class three bike, bike facility. So there are sharrows on the road. So I just wanted to make sure we remember that with sharrows, like bikes are allowed the full use of the lane. Like you shouldn't ha have to feel like you're, you need to squeeze in uh, with the traffic and paying attention to the temporary construction that's there. So the, like uh, we brought this up with public works and we discussed that like, you know, you know, this is demarcated as with sharrows and the bicyclists should not have to feel like they're being constrained and they, they can't access the actual travel lane. Right. Um, right. So well, my concern, cars are supposed to give um, bicycles at least a three feet. Right. Uh, at all mm -hmm. times, even even at that. And my concern was that given that the, the sidewalks in certain areas are restricting an already narrow lane, that um, you know, we it is not going to be possible to meet that guideline. Right. Um, so that was my concern. And I think one way we could do it is to make Linden, parts of Linden at least, a passing take off the, the solid yellow strips and make it a, where, um, a passing lane. Right, that yeah. Oh, that actually, that's a, that's, a, that's a good compromise idea. Yeah. So let, let me bring that up with Public Works and actually if they can accommodate that or explore that, that make it a non-double solid yellow line so that there is some maneuverability, given that it is a a pretty tight street to be on so no, that's 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 valid oh okay. to be continued on that one okay great uh, and the the other uh update on that is that public works did um alert me that that construction that is going on there it's supposed to be wrapping up in the next two to three weeks i think they're aiming to get it done before uh before the new year so that's there's there's yes it's been difficult yes it's been tight but uh all that construct temporary construction is supposed to end soon so that, okay. that that was their big update okay thank you for following through i appreciate it um any other staff at comments nope that was it okay then the next thing is adjournment <laughs> uh have a merry chris oh may i have a motion for adjournment <laughs> a motion for adjournment okay may i have a second I will second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Opposed? Abstentions? Well, thank you very much, everyone. Have a great holiday. All right. Bye. See you in the new year. Happy holidays. Happy new Bye. year. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.